afternoon and as you can see I'm at the lake today uh, it is a beautiful weekend day I came really to uh, to relax for a day or two and then uh, to pick up my truck and take it home because it's uh, gonna be winter time it's time to start cleaning up the yard and things like that I need my truck back home uh, instead of staying here the whole time now, I think I've shown my truck on a few videos before um, but uh, I leave it at the lake, it's just old work truck, but uh, I am going to drive it back and I got to do one little thing to it before I do. So the wheels are perfectly aligned, but as you can see the steering wheel is off center by a good bit. So we're going to fix that today. It should take, shouldn't take me more than a couple minutes to do. Alright, so for those familiar with uh, Dodge front ends or Jeep front ends or any of that, this will all look real familiar. It's a standard. Uh, some people would call it uh, four link with pan hard bar. Some people call it five link Whatever it is. It's a standard Jeep or Dodge truck suspension. It's got four control arms It's got a, a what's called a track bar or a pan hard bar and then it's got the old um, I don't know what you'd call it a Y steering or whatever Where you don't have a solid tie rod that goes all the way across you have a you have a tie rod that goes right here and then you have a drag link that goes up, I think they call it a drag link, that's what I call it. It goes up through here that, that operates the steering. So you're steering, and yes, my steering box is leaking uh, quite bad, actually. Uh, it's actually the reservoir leaks, comes down the box, and then drips right here. I bent the reservoir up when I replaced the steering pump um, a while back. So anyway, <clears throat> you steer here. That's your pitman arm. It steers, pushes that, that, that tire whichever direction you want it to go. That then pulls this side, which goes over here, and pulls that tire in the same direction. This is linked through your steering box to, to your steering wheel. They have a adjustment sleeve right here. This adjustment sleeve will allow the tires to stay in place while you turn that, while you move this this way and this way, which would in turn turn your steering wheel this way and this way. So all I've got to do is adjust this either one way or the other, and I just got to look at it to figure out which way I need to adjust it. Um, and either tighten this up to where it comes down this is just a turnbuckle where it comes this way or widen it back out well, let me look at it and I'll, I'll be right back we'll figure that out all right so you have to think about it this way i need my steering wheel to go to the right which would steer the tires to the right which would push that tire that direction so i need this bar to go in this way because when i turn my steering wheel to the right the tire will go that direction and not be square anymore so I need this to come in, so when I push my steering wheel to the right, this is over this way a little bit. And this will be this direct, when it's square, will be directly going back instead of this way. So I've got to pull this in, which means I just loosen this to get this out of the way. And then I loosen these two, and then I can turn this with a big pair of pliers or a pipe wrench or something like that. I think i got a pair of channel locks I'll turn it with. And it looks like it will need to go in, which is going to be this way. So down. And it's better with two people so someone can watch the wheel while someone's spinning this because I'm not going to be turning this because the wheels will stay where they are. This, though, will turn in. And uh, like I said, it's better if you have two people so someone can tell you when to stop or you'll wind up over adjusting. You'll get frustrated and then you'll stop uh, doing it. All right, guys, hopefully it's not too dark and you can see this, but these are 15s. I'm going to go ahead and loosen those. And I might be able to turn this with hand by hand. It's pretty loose. I might be able to turn this by hand. Let's see. way too far let's go back All 
All right, that should be it right there. see from the play this will have play in it because it's got tie rod ends on each side but as I'm looking down here I have a busted boot over on one side and the other side looks a little rough so it's gonna be time for new tie rod ends that's why my steering is a little bit loose or feel it feels a little bit loose I need I need new tie rod ends which is a pain because the way they've designed it this end is this entire piece and it's like a bit more expensive than just a standard tie rod end like on that side All right. All right, so there's the steering wheel now, and it is more or less square. I'll drive it and see if it changes any as you drive. But with that worn out tie rod in, it's gonna be a little bit rough anyway. So guys, that's all for this video. Well, kind of all, I do want to ask a couple questions. Uh, I've, I may be selling this truck. Uh, I don't use it nearly as much as I need to, uh, to justify having it. It sits over here a lot. So I'm either going to fix this truck. I do have a, a lift kit for this truck. I've got uh, some tires I can put on it. I've got some things I can do to it, tint the windows, to make it real nice. I need to replace the headliner. I may do a video on that even before I sell it. But uh, I can do that or uh, give me your opinions. Y'all send me messages or, or uh, leave in the comments uh, to, for me to add a project on top of the Jeep. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a C4 Corvette, uh, maybe a... I may get the last year of the throttle body injected, so a 91 model, because it's got the new updated interior, um, but it still has the old TBI in it. And that's only because LT1 is a great engine, but they're a little bit more difficult to work on than the, than the TBI, and I, I'm, I'm already familiar with the TBI. And you can get one a good bit cheaper, because they're not sought after. So if that's something that, that would gain garner some interest, then let me know, because uh, I am thinking seriously about about that as a project but if you'd like to see more on the truck or see me do more things to the truck uh, let me know there are some things that need to happen with it I said even if I do sell it I need to do the headliner uh, which is a pretty easy job if I keep it then I'm definitely going to fix the tire steering reservoir so that it doesn't leak and this truck has a plenum gasket leak which is common in the this has a 360 in it uh, common in the 59 360s what happens is it pulls in, it pulls oil in the back corner of the of the uh, intake, which leaks into the number eight cylinder. It can cause some rough running and things, especially on startup. It does do that, so I do know that's an issue. It doesn't really affect the drivability once once you start it up and get it warmed up, but uh, but it's still something that needs to be fixed. <clears throat> so those are all things I need to do to this truck. Other than that, the truck is really perfect. I mean, it, it, everything works on it, other than those those few little items. Uh, it pulls strong it gets the good old 14 miles a gallon that these got uh, it's four-wheel drive uh, it's just a nice truck but uh, by maybe selling it uh, I used to have a Corvette I really liked it and I want to have another one so y'all let me know what you think and if you liked the video hit the thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, then please hit the subscribe button hit the little bell or you won't get any alerts that whenever I post new videos which is sporadic so you kind of need that bell to, to know when I'm going to post. But um, the guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.